<laughs> What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at one of our favorite little creeks to do a little bit of trout fishing. But unfortunately already today we have ran into a few issues that we'll talk about later in this video with anglers that just have no respect for the fishery or the people that are here enjoying it as well. Let's go ahead and hop in here guys. We've got a little set of our little stinkers rigged up here on a small split shot rig with the float. We've already had some success. But we'll go ahead and get in here, guys. We'll show you those previous catches. Let's get in here and let's get started. There's one. I caught him on artificial salmon eggs by NRV Baits. Beautiful little fish right there. Got him. It looks like it, don't it? Got him. got a fork of tail like a salmon interesting to start off the first fella showed up nice and early this morning and he caught himself a nice little limit and he left well about an hour later I see the same fella come back and to my surprise he's got a buddy but what really surprised me was when he started bombing out cast into the creek and he started catching fish then he started throwing them directly onto a stringer. So we've already got somebody who's been here, paid for their daily permit, and caught more than their daily krill limit. Now another big issue that you guys will see is these old timers were what we call chummers. They were constantly taking big handfuls of corn, throwing it out into the creek. Now that's okay for the most part, but what ends up happening is these guys will throw a can, two cans of corn out into the creek, and before you know it, all the fish find it and they start feeding on it. Now, as you guys know, a fish that's got a full belly is not very likely to want to feed. And what ends up happening, guys, is there's an endless amount of food for these fish. They've got plenty of good chances to get it. Here comes one. Got him. They have plenty of chances to get that old corn and it ends up making for really rough fishing. And it's not something that a lot of people talk very highly of. And this fish is fighting super hard. Beautiful rainbow trout right there. <laughs> One of those little bitty six millimeter little stinkers. Alrighty guys, let's grab us a couple more of these little stinkers out of here. But pretty much what I was getting at there guys, as you guys seen by the video, is the two fellas that we bumped into were just doing everything they could in a wrong manner. And once again, guys, it's completely okay to chum the water if it's legal in your area. But if you're fishing around a group of people, especially five or more, it's not a very good idea to walk up and down the creek and chum the place like crazy because the other anglers are looking to catch a fish and they may not even be using the corn. So it becomes a little bit of a problem and it's really something that's frowned upon by most anglers. Got him. Got him on. The old mini minner. Heck yeah, guys. It has been an extremely tough day, but we've been using our NRV baits. We've been catching us a few. Even with the troublesome anglers on the creek today. Can't complain about that one bit. 
Pop that old hook out nice and easy. Beautiful fish. Let's let it go on back strong. Got him. Another one. Back to back cast on the pink mini mini. Heck yeah, guys. That's what I'm talking about. This little hole right here has just been producing for us this season. I think it's because it's got plenty of water. Plenty of water flow coming off of this dam. There we go. Pop that one off. Another beautiful fish right there, guys. Going back strong. Heck yes. Try to swing one underneath it like this right here. Got him. Got him on right out from under this old tree. Fantastic. A little brookie. Beautiful colors on this fish right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Once again, just on that simple mini minner, guys. It's just been a fish catcher for us here lately. Oh, she jumped right on back into the creek. That's okay. Check on our little minner here. Still in perfect shape. Let's just drop him back in here. Try to get ourselves another. Got him. Another one. Got another one. Cast after cast all of a sudden, guys. We found them potted up. <laughs> and it's just one after the other. One after the other. Fantastic. Popped him off as well. Let him go on back strong. Alrighty, guys. So I was saving the best for last. One thing that that group of anglers did earlier that was just absolutely repulsive to me was one of them was fortunate enough to catch a small little native. And instead of taking that native and taking a little picture or just laying it back in the water, the old fella threw it up on the bank. And then within the next four or five minutes, I realized that that poor little native brook trout had been filleted and was being used as fishing bait. Did you guys fillet that little rainbow trout? I did, used it for cut bait. Now I'm pretty positive that in the state of Virginia, you are allowed to use game fish for bait if you catch it on hook and line first. So technically what they were doing, as far as I'm aware, was legal. However, guys, it's just really, really unethical in my opinion to be using trout, the target species, as bait to catch other trout, especially in a fishery that stocked and all of those little wild and native fish are very special to the ecosystem and to our waterways. And when you find that someone just disregards them and decides to use them as bait, well, that is just repulsive to me and probably even more offensive than when the old fella was throwing all that corn into the creek. But guys, that's just my take. Try not to be that guy. And remember, if you're doing anything that you think could be controversial, simply don't do it around other anglers because in a lot of situations, in a lot of places, anglers can get very territorial and very upset at other anglers mistreating the fish or the waterway. So just keep that in mind, guys. Just a quick little rant on my end. But when I run into stuff like that, guys, I try to mention it on the channel so that if you run into it yourself, you know the best ways to handle it. I didn't confront the old guys outside of just questioning them when it came to them actually being here, already catching their limits. Got him. Another one. Gosh, she's fighting so hard. Oh, we got her in the tail. Well, no wonder she's a fighting so hard. We got a little brookie right in the tail. Don't know how we managed that, but we did. We'll get her popped off as quickly as we can here. Don't want her to suffer at all. There we go. Let's let that little brookie take right on back in there. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Got away from those guys down there doing everything as wrong as they could. Made it up here to a nice little smooth run. And by golly, we've been catching them ever since. Heck yes. Got him. Got another one. 
got another one, guys. Wow. I know during our last video, you guys seen the Mini Miner a lot. And I was hoping to use some other stuff today, but I'm telling you guys, this summertime bite has just been hot, hot, hot on the old Mini Miner. Another beautiful rainbow. Looks like they're going back strong. Take our old bait here. We'll reverse him around since it's getting soft on that one side. Poke him right on back out. Just like that. And we're good to go again. Got him. Got him. Nice brown trout to end out our day. Let's get her in the net and complete our Virginia Trout Slam. Right there, guys. Heck yes. I think I'm going to count my blessings and call it a day on this fish right here. We managed to get a Virginia trifecta, even with some not-so-sportsmanlike anglers on the creek today. Beautiful brownie. Let's let her go. But, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. And I'd like to go on ahead and say, if you sat through this video all the way until now, I would like to give you a chance to win a pack of those mini minners as well as a pack of those six millimeter little stinkers we was having all that luck on all you've got to do guys head down there into the comments drop me a comment make sure you are subscribed a lot of the winners here lately have not been subscribed and uneligible to win guys so be sure you are subscribed for your chance to win both and if you don't want to wait and you want to get your hands on them right now just simply head down there into the description and i will leave a link just for you you can click on that link and you can find the nrv baits be good if you can boys and girls do yourself some fishing and have some fun but most importantly be safe and tight lines.